Nevada. Join us, of course, special election night coverage Tuesday night at 8 p.m. It's right here on WBZ, or you can stream us anytime on the iHeartRadio app. Now, on the South Shore, charges tonight against a man accused of vandalizing a political sign in Cohasset. Frederick Laidlaw accused of spray painting the swastika on a Trump sign. That sign, by the way, belonging to the chair of the Cohasset Republican Town Committee, Kevin O'Donnell. Earlier this month, lawn signs supporting Democrats were set on fire in Sterling. Last month in Tingsboro, Trump signs were cut up and discarded. And Republicans in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, getting a win today from a judge who ruled voters there have more time to mail in their ballots. The move to extend the mail-in deadline comes after the campaigns for former President Donald Trump and Republican Senate candidate Dave McCormick sued Bucks County for voter suppression. They claimed people were turned away before the original 5 p.m. deadline on Tuesday and were not allowed to complete the whole voting process at the Bucks County Administration Building. Bucks County officials claimed they followed the state's law but the judge found they violated Pennsylvania election code. And that is CBS's Jan Carabeo with that update. It's 6.02. Before we go take a look at traffic, a neon sign repair shop in Somerville wants Paul Revere to ride once again. I'm standing in front of a massive Paul Revere, or more accurately, about half of a massive Paul Revere made out of neon glass tubes. In the middle half of the 20th century, if you were a company of any size, you would build a gigantic rooftop neon sign. Dave